Hello and welcome to Mr. Meyer's Math Magic. I'm Mr. Meyer and today we're going to be talking about transformations. Discussing transformations, there are two categories that they fall under, rigid transformations and non-rigid transformations. With rigid transformations, there are three examples. A translation, which is the sliding of a figure, and this can either be moving up, down, left, right, or a combination of two of those. Then we have reflection, which is the flipping of a figure. It usually can be flipped over the y or the x-axis, or can also be flipped over a line such as y is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1. The third and final type of rigid transformation is rotation, which is the turning of a figure. And when you're turning the figure, you're turning it about a certain point. In this example, it was the origin that we had turned it around. So now, moving on to non-rigid transformations. So non-rigid transformations do not preserve the size of the figure. It still is the same shape, but for this, it's a dilation, so it's growing or shrinking. So going from the pre-image to the post-image, even though the shape is the same, the size is different. Now, looking back at our rigid transformations, we notice that the size of all of the figures are still the same. Rigid transformations preserve both angle measurements as well as the side lengths, while non-rigid transformations preserve the angle measurements, but do not preserve the side lengths. Here is an example of a transformation that would change the image. So now just taking this piece of paper, folding it up. Okay, and now don't blink or you'll miss it, but it just changes. Here's a magic trick that sort of shows the example of a translation where an object is just sliding or moving within the deck. So you choose any card. That's your card right there. So now I put it right around the middle of the deck. Okay, so now trying to get that card to come to the top of the deck. So let's first check. Is that the card? I mm, don't really think that it is. But all I do is snap and then there, the card is right there. Here is an example of a trick that shows rotation. So you choose any card out from the deck. There's your card right there. Losing it somewhere, like right around the middle of the deck. Okay? So now, from the middle of the deck, I'm going to rotate the card out. And there, your card is right there. Here's a trick that shows dilation. So so now all I do is I take this piece of paper and I'm just trying to figure out a way to fold it up, take up a larger amount of space. So now the pre-image was smaller, so then this was a dilation that made it grow to a larger size. I hope that you enjoyed the math, the mire, and the magic. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you have a recommendation for a different math concept that you would like to see me do, leave a comment down below. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button. Once I reach 100 subscribers, I'll reveal the magic trick about how I did the changing of the color of the card.